Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the things we can do with phases. In this case, we're going to be working on the field of view track of a shot with a couple of snap zooms in it. So as I move through this shot, you see that at two different spots, the zoom jumps fairly rapidly to a different setting. So we can just go and do a basic auto track on it. And of course that follows along. So now let's go and look over in the graph view. And we'll go look at the field of view of the camera. Now I have displayed both the uh, actual field of view itself, which is this bottom curve, plus its derivative up here, which shows how it's changing over time. So, you know, in the beginning it's pretty much flat across, and then it jumps to the different setting, and then it moves back. But if you look at it in more detail, you see that there's a little jitter in the solid field of view, just due to the noise and the trackers and so on. So let's suppose that we want to go and smooth out the different sections of this zoom curve so that we have exactly flat field to view values in those sections. So I'm actually going to move the current time to the beginning of the first transition, roughly. And now let's go over to the phase view. And we're going to start out with a clean start phase and we're going to then have a solve phase. And this first solve is going to be doing the, the basic zoom solution and after that, you know, basically what we've already done, so after that we're going to start playing around with the zoom track and we're going to use a flattened field of view phase and it's going to start flattening the field of view from frame 0 and the end frame we're going to set the out frame to be our current frame this the 75 and we'll just reset the blending we don't need any blending at the beginning because it's just at the beginning of the shot we'll keep a little blending right at the output part of that and we're going to leave this on automatic. So it's going to go and compute the average field of view during that section that we want to have flattened and use that as the value. So let's just go and have our solve get done. We'll look back at the graphs. And now you see in the graphs, here's our field of view. But even if you look at the details, you see that that field of view is exactly flat. So we can go and now repeat this process. Go back to the phase view. We'll create another flattened field of view. And we'll set it to the current frame. The out frame. And this time we'll leave both of those blendings in place. So we want it to blend in and out. We're back in the graphs view again you see that the field of view is now exactly set so now we have one third final section that we want to do I didn't have that selected initially so I'm just setting that to be the root again and this one, we want the in frame to be our current frame. We want blending at the beginning, no blending at the end. So now we've flattened out all three sections. So what we have now 
you know, it's a solution that has the exactly flat solution, the exactly flat field of view that we want, but the soft doesn't exactly match that particular field of view because we've just been playing with the field of view without adjusting the rest of the solution to match it. So let's go back to the phase view. And now what we'll do is we're going to call up a set lens mode and we're going to set the lens mode instead of being a zoom lens we're going to set it to be a known lens at the solved field of view that comes out of this existing pipeline of information. So now we're going to go and the output here has the tags that say we want to solve using that field of view and basically it's been moved to the seed path and the uh, solver mode we don't really need to do a complete resolution so let's just set the solver mode to just be a refine and now we'll go and solve it again so now we just went and updated the solution to match exactly the field of view that we've computed so we still should have our you know exact same field of view but all the rest of the data has been updated the camera path has been updated to match that as well now one thing that we should do here with our collection of phases if you look now at the settings here in particular this lens mode has now been set to known as a result of the lens mode here so if we want this entire process to run from scratch again exactly the same way what we need to do is set the lens mode back to being a, an unknown zoom lens so now if we go and just rerun the whole thing you know, it starts off from scratch doing the one solve with the known with the you know unknown zoom lens then it goes and does the refine at the end and basically that's now a repeatable process that we can rerun if we go and change things around and so on so that's a nice little collection of phases that we've set up of course we can go and save this away into the phase library if we want to use it on another shot also but if we do that then probably we want to adjust these different settings on the flattened field of view uh, phases to you know wherever the frames the right cut frames are in a different shot so thanks a lot and enjoy